Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. As the title of this video suggests, I'm going to demonstrate how you can really quickly and easily get PDF document metadata using the Cloudmersive PDF connector in Power Automate. Metadata makes a big difference when it comes to optimizing your PDF searchability within your database, and within Power Automate, there are a number of different ways to store that information after retrieving it, but I'll leave that aspect up to you. Starting at the Power Automate homepage, we're going to click Create and start a new flow and select Instant Cloud Flow right after that. You can give your flow a name at this stage, or just click Manually Trigger a Flow followed by Create to move on. Since we're going to trigger this flow manually, all we need to worry about is getting our PDF file to test the connector. Click New Step and search for one of the Get File Content actions to retrieve the file you want to use. I'm using SharePoint, so I'm setting my site address and then using the file picker to navigate through the folder path. Once the file name populates here, we can move on. Click New Step again, and this time type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, pick the PDF connector with the pink logo from the list of options. At this point, if you haven't used this connector before, you'll be asked to include your Cloudmersive API key and name your connection. You can get an API key completely free by registering a free account on our website, and once you save that in here, you won't have to worry about doing that again. When that's out of the way, you can search for Get PDF Document Metadata and select the appropriate action. Within this action, we need to first use the Dynamic Content window to parse our demo file content from the previous step. Then, to satisfy the second parameter, we can copy and paste the name of the file like I'm doing here. All we need to do now is save and test the flow to make sure the connector works. Click Save at the bottom of the page, and then click Test in the upper right corner. Select the option to trigger manually, and then click through all these windows until you can finally hit Run Flow and set the project in motion. After a few seconds, my flow has run smoothly. As you can see here, the PDF document metadata is now sitting within the connector, ready to be used however we see fit. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.